Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to show you how you can set up your Jenkins server on Azure. So as you might already be aware of that Jenkins is an open source automation server. It helps automate the part of software development related to building, testing, deploying, facilitating continuous integration and continuous delivery. So if you click on the link in the description box, you'll be taken to this listing on the marketplace. Simply click on get it now to install the Jenkins server on Ubuntu and Send OS. After clicking Get It Now and Continue, you would be taken to this particular screen. Here you can set up your virtual machine with Jenkins Server installed on it on either Ubuntu or Send OS. Then simply click Create. And then you can customize your virtual machine. So make sure to choose a subscription that you already are going with. Choose a resource group. I am going to go with an existing one. And then you can give a name to your virtual machine. So I am going to call it Jenkins. And then you can choose the region for your virtual machine but I am going to go with the default one because that is the closest to me. Then if I scroll down, you can see the size box. Here for this tutorial, I am going to go with the default one but in case your requirement is much more than this then make sure to customize the size according to your needs. And for the authentication type, I am going to go with SSH public key. You can also opt out for password but for me, SSH public key works perfectly. Then make sure to customize your username and your key pair name. I am simply going to change it to CIS. And then you can click on review and create. Then you would have to wait for the validation to complete before you can actually create your virtual machine. After successful validation, you can choose to give it your name and your preferred email address and then click on create. Now Azure has generated a key pair for us. So make sure to download this private key pair and then click download private key and create resource. And then you would have to wait for the deployment to complete. Once the deployment is complete, click on this option that says go to resource. And then to open up the Jenkins server, simply copy this public IP, paste it in a new tab, put a colon and then use the port number 8080 and hit enter. Now as you can see that we have successfully deployed Jenkins. But to unlock Jenkins, we need to able to head over to this file and get the password from here. So for that we need to connect to the SSH server. So come back to your resource page and click on connect and then click on SSH and then copy this path, open up a new PowerShell and paste this path inside the PowerShell. But make sure to replace the private key path with the path to your key that you downloaded. So now if I place down my path for my key over here and hit enter and then when prompted if I type yes. Now as you can see that I am able to connect to the Ubuntu on which Jenkins server was deployed. So now I am going to head back to Jenkins page, copy this path, open up my PowerShell and type the command sudo cat and to paste the path that I just copied, I am going to right click on my PowerShell and hit enter. So as you can see, this is my 32 character alphanumeric code that I need to use to unlock my Jenkins. So I am simply going to copy this and paste it inside my administrator password and click on continue. And then it is asking me if I want to install the suggested plugins or if I want to install some customized plugin. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm simply going to go with the default suggested plugins. And then you simply have to wait for the plugins to be installed in your Jenkins server. Now, as you can see, after all the packages and plugins have been installed, it takes us to this particular page where we can create our first admin user. So I'm going to type in the name CIS admin and I'm going to give it some password and I'm going to give it a full name and my email address. And then I'm going to click on save and continue. And then if you have a domain name and you want to assign that to this particular Jenkins server, you can do that over here. But for this tutorial, I'm simply going to go with the default URL and click on save and finish. And that is it. My Jenkins is completely set up. I have to simply click on this button that says start using Jenkins. And just like that, you can see that now I am on Jenkins dashboard. So that was all for installing Jenkins server on Azure. But if you have any queries or if you want a detailed instruction, then you can head over to the link in the description box, which takes you to this particular post, which explains how you can set up Jenkins on either Ubuntu or CentOS in detail.